NASA is tracking a huge Halloween asteroid set to grace past Earth. This is on Sputnik News today. We have a lot of asteroids coming in the past few days. As the astronomers tell us, they never come alone. They are in binaries or in groups. Now, in late July, a potentially deadly asteroid, which would have caused massive devastation if it had collided with our planet, came only within 65,000 kilometers of Earth's surface with the European Space Agency, ESA, later admitting that the object had previously been observed but was not recognized as a near-Earth asteroid. So what happened? Why did it come close to us? A kilometer-wide asteroid is hurtling towards Earth, scheduled to fly past our planet just in time for Halloween. NASA diagrams show how nail-bitingly close the flyby of this asteroid actually classed as a minor planet, okay, minor planet, a kilometer wide, is set to be. It's dubbed 1998 HL1. The space rock has been categorized as a moderate threat, and luckily this year its closest approach will be 150 million miles away on October 25th. In a statement, the NASA Center for Near-Earth Objects Studies, CNEO, said a 3,248 feet giant asteroid is currently traveling at the speed of 25,000 miles an hour. Asteroid 1998 HL1, expected to approach our Earth on October 25th at 1.25 p.m. EDT. During its flyby, the asteroid will be about, about 0 0.4155 astronomical units, or roughly 3.9 million miles from the planet's center. The space rock has been classified as CNEOs as an Apollo asteroid and as such having a very wide orbit around the Sun and the Earth. Occasionally, Apollo asteroid, asteroids intersect with the planet's orbit as it goes around the Sun due to 1998 HL1's close intersection with Earth's orbit. It has been labeled by CNEOs as a potentially hazardous asteroid. The adventurous rock is a repeat vis visitor. It was the first spotted June 24, 1998 by linear survey in the Lincoln Laboratory Experiments test site in Socorro, New Mexico. Earlier, NASA admitted an asteroid did sneak up on us when it passed closer than our own moon in July. On July 25th, astronomers watched the 100-meter that's about 300 feet wide object called 19, 2019 OK. It came within only 65,000 kilometers of our planet's surface. That's one-fifth the distance of the moon. The object had previously been observed but was not recognized as a near-Earth asteroid. This is what ESA admitted. NASA's planetary defense officer, Lindley Johnson, wrote in an email to staff, this one did sneak up on us, and it is an interesting story on the limitations of our current surveying network. NASA did spot the football field size asteroid on July 7, but it moved too slowly to be identified as a near-Earth object. By the time it sped up, scientists were unable to detect, it, to detect it. According to media reports, NASA said bad weather was to blame, and the position of the moon had hampered the asteroid's detection. Now it's hoping to make sure every asteroid en route to Earth is identified well ahead of time. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube 
channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.